I'm going to begin by asking, I mean, apparently this Project Lucy took about 10 years to sort of get off the ground. And I was just wondering why there was this sort of delay and what it was about this story that kept you so engaged by it. It's because the, the field, intelligence, brain, <laughs> it's so huge and so uh, vast that I, I was almost scared by the, by the thing. I, I want to know more first. I want to know what's true, what's not true, where are we exactly. I need to know the field. If I do a comparison, you, you buy a field, and for a couple of years you, you watch the weather, the winter, the spring, before to know where you're going to put the house. Where the, f you know, to, to see where the wind comes from in the winter and the rain and, you know. So I study the field, in fact, before to know where I'm going to put my house. And, and uh, three years ago, then I started to seriously, uh, you know, make some plan about how I can, I can put together a thriller, fun, philosophical content, uh, brainwashing, and all this in, in one film. Because, I mean, of course, across the past 10 years, technology has evolved so much. Were you ever having to go back to this sort of screenplay and sort of update it or change it at all to sort of be in accordance with that? Uh, I, think, I think I need also to get older and to know more just about life in general and what's important, what's not. And I was just too young 10 years ago. I, I knew that I will be interested. It's like the classical music, you know, it, it, most of the time you can't be interested by classical music at 15 years old. And I was not at the time, but uh, I was in, in, involved in free jazz and jazz rock and all this. But, and, it, and suddenly at a certain age, you start to understand a little bit better uh, Mozart and, and, and all these guys. And, and then you go, oh yeah. Well, I love the classical music, in fact. <laughs> uh, regard, I mean, Lucy is such good fun. And I was, I was wondering, because I mean, some people think, you know, saying that the scientific side to it is not necessarily sort of true. But does it, does it frustrate you that people are look, taking it at such face value? Because it is just cinema, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm very, I, I've read that, the first time I read that, say, oh, you know, the, the theory of the 10% is wrong. Yeah, of course I, it's wrong. I know it. I work on the thing for nine years. <laughs> but guys, it's a film. Yeah, of course. I mean, the real thing is we're using 15% of our neurons in the same time. And it's never the same 15%. But the concept is not clear enough, you know, because we, we're not using 100% of the neurons in the same time. So I transformed the concept with an old theory from the 60s, which is we basically use 10% of our brain capacity because it was just more clear. But I never pretend it's, it's the truth. You know, I know it's wrong, yes. uh, but I have to adapt for the cinema to make it more simple, to make it understandable. And, uh, but most of the, the rest, there's lots of uh, information were totally real in the film. What's good in a film is you take the real, you take the fake, you mix it, and everything looks real. And, you know, by the way, when you make a, a love declaration, there's ne never a big orchestra on your back. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's fake also. <laughs> I was wondering as well, I mean, you've written and produced so much over the across your career, and obviously you've directed too, but that's sort of somewhat less frequent. I was wondering what it is about a, a project that makes you decide, right, this is one I want to, to direct. It's, it's um, if I feel that another director can make it better than me, I, I'd rather not to do it. If, if I feel that I can personally, because of my background, I can bring something to it, because it correspond to, to me, uh, I want to do it. And Lucy, there is no way I'm going to give it to somebody else. I knew that since the beginning. I, I'm too I'm too excited by the subject. You know, it's it, it's personal. In fact, the film. I, I really try to to define a new genre. Can, can we do a, a thriller, sci-fi, fun, philosophical in the same time? And you can't give that to someone. You know, you you have to. You have to do the, it's, it's almost like a cook. You know, can we put salt and sugar in the, in the same meal? So, okay, let, let me try first. <laughs> and I try to mix all the thing to test and say, oh, okay, let, let's put that on the oven to see how it, it, it's getting out, you know? So I have to do it. I, I have to be the one to try. 
A quick word on, on Scarlett as well. I mean, she's, she showed in Under the Skin. She's so brilliant at being almost vacant behind the eyes and still having so much emotion to her. And I was just wondering how, why you felt she was perfect for the role and what would she like to work with as well? Uh, first, you have to meet. You, you have to meet the person and you, you, you're going to spend eight months with the person. So do you like me? Do I like you first? And do you like the subject? And she was she was very uh, she was catched by by the subject and by the role. She she was excited and say, oh yeah, the brain, how you know? And she wants to know more. She started to read about it, and then and then she has questions and questions and questions and and I like that. It's not someone who just like pick the role and take the check, you know. She's 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 about the work, and you see her with Coppola, you see her with Woody Allen. On, on stage at Broadway, and you can see that she has a, a total, you know, she can play from, from A to Z, and, and that's, that's very exciting for, for a director. So just finally, very quickly, uh, of course, Taken Free is one that's coming out soon. I was wondering if you're allowed to divulge much about the, the plot for that, if that's something. You want to know the end? Uh, not the ending, just the kind of the premise. <laughs> I'm kidding, the... I will never tell you oh. the end. <laughs> um, no, first, uh, I think there is some uh, a kind of loyalty, and if we if we couldn't find a good idea, I think I will never make the film, and Liam will probably never make the film too. So, but we fall in love with the idea. That's one thing. And just to give you a a little tease, I will say, what is the worst thing who can happen to this man? That's how we start. In fact, cool. all right. Well, I look forward to it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank much you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.